Okay, can you hear me okay? Fantastic. Um, we saw some fantastic presentations this morning, right? Um, and it's an amazing time to be in product design. Travel the world, you see customers do some incredible things. So imagine for a second, you're a 24-year-old, straight out of school, year, two years inside the company, and here's what you're tasked to do. Bring manufacturing back in-house, okay? You don't know anything about manufacturing. Not only that, you're asked to bring 1,000 parts back in-house, not just one, not just two. This is what's happening in the world today. Kids out of school are fearless. They are multidisciplinary, very comfortable in mechanical, very comfortable in electrical, very comfortable in electronics. It's almost like plug and play for them, actually. And, and let's take a look at one customer of SolidWorks that's doing some very interesting things. And I think he used the word impossible a couple of times. Very interesting case here. I'm Jim Ring. I'm half owner of the Ring Brothers. I'm Mike Ring, the other half owner of the Ring Brothers. The 69 Camaro we have behind us, actually the name of the car, G-Code. G-Code is really a language that With all of the machining that went into this car, almost every single component, we thought it appropriate to call this car G-Code. You know, that's kind of a testament to what these tools can do for you. SolidWorks helps me with the process from idea to actual product because it's not just a 3D program, it's not just a CAM program, it's, it's all one. It's so smooth to make changes. Our first hint we ever manufactured was for a 69 Camaro. We decided to make a precision part with the use of SolidWorks and SolidWorks Cam that would allow this hood to go to the same spot every time. This hinge was developed to not only solve a problem that we had with the way they closed, but it also solved the problem that they actually want to look at them. SolidWorks Cam's tolerance-based machining makes the process from getting that idea out there we can quickly clicking on our dimensions and actually applying where we're going to press a bearing, where a thread point's going to be. So when we open and close that hinge, it's it's going to be right where it needs to be without binding. It's literally just clicking buttons and we're going on to the next part very quickly. I'm new to machining within the last year and a half. Without knowledge-based machining, bringing a thousand parts in house would be nearly impossible. A lot of the reasons we make our own parts here is because we feel that we can't find the quality and the look we're after. For us, uh, this is a new beginning, and with the help of SolidWorks, we're, I think we're actually building a lot cooler stuff. Quite fascinating, isn't it? And that's what customers are doing every day with SolidWorks. So. We just launched SolidWorks 2018, so I'll be mixing a little bit of customer stories and SolidWorks 2018 this morning. Uh, so if you are somebody who uses simulation with SolidWorks 2018, you have topology optimization. So what this is, you have heard enough of it. It's based on Tosca. It's a very well proven topology optimization tool in the marketplace today. So every SolidWorks customer that has simulation are now access to topology optimization with 2018 where it actually designs the part for you. This is the augmented part of design, and now you can do the rest of the engineering with it. Also, with SolidWorks 2018, you heard about CAM. If you are SolidWorks standard, SolidWorks professional, or premium, you have solid access to SolidWorks CAM. So you can go from design to manufacturing, end-to-end, -end with SolidWorks with tolerance-based machining. And if you heard him say a few things, actually, intelligent knowledge base, it's quite remarkable that once you start cutting metal, it actually remembers what you did, and it will reapply the same strategies for future uh, metal cutting as well. And, and, and one of the things we have done, and you see the investments of SolidWorks in the last few years, this is the number of products we launched for very good reason, uh, is to go end to end from design to manufacturing process. Um, I have like two slides like this, so I apologize, but this is important. With SOLIDWORKS 2018, you can do model-based enterprise. What this means is, and I think I'll paraphrase a VP of engineering uh, that told me, we create these beautiful designs, we create a puzzle called 2D drawings, and we give this to puzzle to people 
when two people read it, can't read exactly the same way. So what does it mean in the world of design to manufacturing today? 60 to 70% of the times, the first prototype is out of spec. It can't be cut the same way. And when people implement tolerance-based design and machining, it comes down to tens. So a huge difference in the time it takes to create the exact part with the design intent. So now with 2018, you can go from define, communicate, machine, inspect, and manage end-to-end -end on one SOLIDWORKS data so it's the same language that flows through the entire enterprise. And obviously with 2018, we address 3D printing, AR, VR. I don't have enough time to go into each and every piece. Uh, mesh modeling, scan to 3D, and topology optimization. So let's talk about your second challenge, right? Young engineers out there doing some incredible things. So let's say you want to become a farmer. And you don't want to farm on a flat piece of land, but you want to farm in a container. You don't want to use soil. You want to use two to three gallons of water a day. And you need to fit two acres of land into a box. You need to farm 365 days a year here in Boston. And your electricity bill should be between 200 to $250 a month, right? So we have some very innovative companies doing some very interesting things, leveraging SOLIDWORKS products. Here's freight farms for you. So this is a company that has used uh, mechanical, electrical, electronics, big data, connecting to the cloud, uh, managing the device with the cloud. So you're a farmer in a couch. Think about it that way. Uh, doing all with SOLIDWORKS. And many, many companies do it today. At the Consumer Electronics Show, uh, we did a survey. And we found 70% of all smart devices companies in the world, at least at the CES, are actually SOLIDWORKS users, leveraging our entire portfolio. So what are we doing at SOLIDWORKS to enable it? It's pretty simple, actually. Today, you have mechanical teams, electrical teams, and electronic teams as silos, not talking to each other. With SOLIDWORKS 2017 and 2018, we are removing all those barriers. It's a uniform database. The same data management tool controls end to end. And we have some fantastic partners that actually, uh, that actually take care of data management for you. Here's another very interesting customer in Germany. I was blown away, where they have actually put software, electrical, electronics, control systems, hardware in situ, and actually leveraging AR, VR to do the things inside SOLIDWORKS. So now here you have the entire design. In this case, it's packaging. And there's your augmented reality with HoloLens uh, with SOLIDWORKS. And there you go. You can actually see things work exactly the way you expect it to work. Our customers are pushing the envelope. They're, they are way ahead of SOLIDWORKS. And it's fantastic for us to visit them, learn from them, and actually bring that into the SOLIDWORKS for our customer base. So this is exactly what's happening in the world today where it's just not software, software, hardware, AR, VR, all in a loop, working together to get the job done, OK? So now you think of electrical, electronic uh, integration with data management that connects it all with model-based enterprise with SOLIDWORKS 2018. So topology optimization, we talked about it, right? It's there. If you have simulation, you get it with SOLIDWORKS. Uh, the other thing we have done is working with Simulia, our sister company, connecting that product to SOLIDWORKS simulation with one click, you are now into Abacus. And you can do some very high-end simulation. And Abacus is known for that. If you can't solve a problem, go to Abacus. More than likely, they will work with you, research for you, develop numerical methods to get the job done. So now you have from design analysis, conceptualizing with topology optimization, doing the design analysis, and going all the way to Abacus to do some very complex, very high-end analysis in one stream. Uh, this is the second slide I told you about, <laughs> a little bit boring. What we are finding is after we launched this product, it's not actually launched, but it's quite disruptive in the marketplace. Uh, we are pleasantly surprised, actually. Um, what this is is basically distributed data management um, where you can connect PDM with one click to, I won't call this PLM, the implementation costs are at a minimum, probably one-tenth to one-twentieth of the cost. 
but now you can connect your entire enterprise end to end. This is what we call SolidWorks Manage. Uh, we showed it to around 20 companies, 18 of them have actually signed to implement it, um, stopping many of their implementations. It's pretty remarkable. So now what you can do with SolidWorks that Manage is connect your engineering data, go all the way into end uh, to purchasing, to QA, to engineer, to accounts, manufacturing supervisor, and the whole bit. So if you're a small to medium company that need PLM kind of stuff, but can't implement it, scared of post-implementation costs, come take a look at Manage. It's just like PDM, similar implementation, and the costs are the lowest in the marketplace that you have seen, so take a look, okay? Now let's talk about another customer, in the case, Boom, right? Uh, they started as SolidWorks Entrepreneurial Program, and I will talk about it in just a second. So they want to build, and young kids, by the way, they want to build the fastest airplane ever here in US. Um, they started with SolidWorks, an entrepreneurial program, and now they got their funding, becoming larger. They implemented SolidWorks as part of their design tool. So let's talk about what is SolidWorks entrepreneurial program. The offer is pretty simple. You get three licenses of everything SolidWorks, okay, for 12 months and longer if necessary. Uh, you get the full online training at My SolidWorks. You have co-marketing opportunities, so you can work with us. We can market you to the entire SolidWorks base worldwide. We do that. And the eligibility is less than a million dollar funding, lifetime revenue of less than a million dollars, less than three years old, must design, build, and sell a physical prototype. I know there are many people in this room, incredibly bright, probably startups. If you are in that situation, or if you are thinking of starting a company, give us a call. We would love to partner with you and be part of your journey. And you can be, this is what you get, everything. I said everything solid works for three years. So you can design uh, electromechanical systems. Very rarely are there startups that are pure mechanical anymore. You need full, inter in full connectivity all the way to big data and everything else. You get it all for, th for a year and longer and be part of all these uh, different spaces in the world that are part of our entrepreneurial program. I wasn't planning on showing this. It's Martin's fault. Yesterday evening, he cornered me and said, hey, well, where is your browser-based product? Um, I didn't plan to show this today, actually. So Manish and I, we worked on it last night. I will tell you, I'm not the best at um, you know, uh, video production. So it is as is. Uh, take a look. So this is SolidWorks X Design. It's actually being used at few places, uh, 56 plus people in production. Uh, what you are seeing is it's a browser-based CAD, um, available on any device, anywhere. Uh, obviously, full dimensioning done. The product you are seeing is, is, if you come to SolidWorks World, we do model mania. So last night, we built this part. Um, obviously, I practiced it a couple of times before recording it, but the video is as is. Uh, there's no, there no, no magic here. So obviously you can see it's fairly functional. It's fully done in terms of uh, part modeling, sketching, assembly modeling, um, and uh, some drawing capabilities. Um, and, and if you see it uh, in the bottom, the UI is fairly simple and straightforward. It's written scratch from the scratch, uh, base up. And uh, in the bottom you see all the features like sketch, feature, assembly, Design guidance, I did not do design guidance today. Um, what this is is um, basically you tell where you want to fix something, where you apply the load, and the product actually builds itself in empty space. It's basically, it, it actually creates the part for you. You don't even start from a shape, it just builds it up. Yesterday night I did not do design guidance, I should have, now that if I think about it. But anyways, what you are seeing here is a fully functional CAD system fully dimensions, um, it has super features where you can go from a fillet to a chamfer to a spline to an extrude uh, without barriers, basically. Um, and it has um, pretty much, I would say around 60 to 70% of what's inside SolidWorks standard in terms of part modeling, assembly modeling, and sketching today. Um, you can see that uh, I just draw a line and uh, basically put some concentric mates. You see how the UI just comes up and helps you through it. Uh, do a very simple extrude. Um, you know, change it from blind to up to geometry. 
in this case, it, and if you're a SolidWorks user, this is natural to you. It works exactly like SolidWorks. You select the base, change the dimensions, and this is all working of a cloud uh, so, you know, server somewhere in California. And, uh, and uh, number of instances in this case is three. That's done. And obviously, I go ahead, go ahead and put some filleting and all that standard stuff. Uh, what can you do today? We have Cloud 3D Print. So from here, with one click, you can actually go Cloud Print to any printer anywhere in the world. Uh, you have Cloud Cam, so you can now go actually do cut metal with this, uh, with this particular product that we have. Um, and it's fairly robust, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, um, you know, I think in the next year, we will, we will put it for public beta to a much larger audience and we go from there. Uh, this is a three minute video, a uh, three and a half minute video. I don't want to be between you and lunch. So I'm going to just drag this forward a little bit uh, to show the assembly capabilities if that's okay. Um, did I stop it? I can't access the full forward button, but we'll just, just bear with me. So it has full search capabilities, leveraging Excel leads, so it's intelligent search throughout the cloud environment. Um, now I want to bring it, uh, bring this assembly um, into this design, and it will open in like a few seconds. Uh, remember, this is still alpha software. And, uh, and basically once it's in, uh, obviously assembly mates are there. You can select two surfaces, there's a mating scheme that comes together, um, and uh, if you, for those who remember, this was a SolidWorks demo many, many years ago. I did it myself in front of customers when I was a TTM, actually, for SolidWorks. So uh, a lot of times, a uh, lot of times in the 2000s. So anyways, uh, this is one of my favorite demos, and it comes in, and you have full assembly motion capabilities built in uh, right there. So, so we are doing on both fronts. Obviously, our desktop portfolio incredibly important, important and impactful around the world, uh, built on amazing legacy and amazing people uh, that were part of this company from the earliest days. Uh, the culture and the innovation continues. And we are also building cloud-based software, connecting these two together. Uh, basically, uh, you can go from SolidWorks desktop to the browser base with full collaboration. Few other things we are doing, taking our desktop product and actually connect, collecting it, to, it through the platform, so you can collaborate from any place in the world. You'll see a lot of this at SolidWorks World uh, next year. Uh, many of these will go GA as we talk about uh, to a public beta and all that good stuff. And if you want to be part of it, reach out to us, please. We would love to have you test these products, give us feedback, and we go from there. So with that, um, I'll tell you, our mission at SolidWorks is very simple. Uh, we want to make great design happen. And if we can't, uh, shame on us. Uh, you should be using any tool in the world that makes you productive. Our mission is to help you uh, make great designs happen, and we are working on it every day. Um, with 2018, another fantastic release from SolidWorks, by the way. Um, touch, if you have touch-based devices, this laptop is. I'm doing sketching with SolidWorks 2018 on touch-based stuff. We have customers telling us that they are seeing 20% productivity in pure sketching alone by sketching using a pen, which is a very natural action compared to mouse and keyboard. Topology optimization, CAM, uh, branch and merge, model-based definition, tab and slot, manage, inspection uh, with uh, tolerant, you know, with um, um, 3D PMI. Mesh mode, with SolidWorks 2018, uh, we are putting a lot of things in place where uh, it's getting ready for 3D print and other manufacturing methods where now mesh is an equal citizen in SolidWorks, just like a B-Wrap, just like NURBS, just like features. It will live harmoniously with everything else. Uh, you'll see us push this more and more uh, as we go into 2019, 20, and, 20, uh, and beyond. Um, routing, extremely important to us as we go to electrical and PCB and SolidWorks in terms of 3D. We have done a lot, 3D interconnect and ECAD IoT as well. So you can see we are doing a lot in many different areas uh, to help you succeed. Uh, this is truly, SolidWorks is everywhere. Uh, 5.1 million users around the world use SolidWorks. Uh, 261,000 companies uh, talk about the legacy of this product uh, some from 1995. 
33,000 academic institutions. This is remarkable, remarkable. Uh, fab labs around the world, I didn't even talk about fab labs. We work very closely with Dr. Neil Gershenfeld. His mission is to go from bits to atoms in zero, and we are working with him on a lot of things. Uh, we have taken both X-Design and SolidWorks desktop into the fab lab environment with one click connect to all the machines in the fab lab directly from these products. Uh, 110 plus incubators, 250,000 certified users. I know many of you are here, so thank you. 1.1 uh, million My SolidWorks members. This is our online community for training forums and everything else. 1.6 million 3DCC members, 1.5 million fast Facebook, and uh, 750 plus hardware software partners. Many of you are here. Thank you again for that as well. So with that, um, it's a pleasure with, to be with you this morning, and uh, fantastic rest of the day. Thank you.